What's going on guys, Team Mart here, and after all the teasers yesterday, they finally released the Black Ops 3 single player campaign trailer. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, I'm going to play it through one time, then we're going to reconnect and talk about it. We wanted a perfect future, and fuck, we got it. I wanted to be a killing machine, and they made me one. One of the perks of being Black Ops is having access to the latest in experimental weaponry. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface. Your mind truly is your greatest weapon. My brothers have gone dark, but nobody knows just how far. Holy shit. I don't think these people volunteered. I've got to chase the chaos as deep as it goes. The last recorded operation at this station was John Taylor's team. The people who did this are traitors. They're gonna continue to help the enemy. We need to fight back. But when I look at the hard truth, I may not want to come back. When people really want to bury secrets, they tend to bury bodies right along with them. You think Taylor's team killed our people? I don't know how much of the real Taylor is left. Please don't. You don't know what this will do. I can feel it taking over. Not even my mind is safe. You still in there, John? Do you hear me? You don't understand. I'm taking us home. Alrighty, so there you guys have it. The Black Ops 3 single player trailer. A little bit different than some of the trailers we've seen in the past. If you go back and watch previous trailers, especially like the Advanced Warfare one and stuff like that, it seems like it was always like action, 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 bullets, shooting, explosions, fire, crash, like uh, all over the place. And uh, this had a little bit of that. There, there are a couple little snippets of stuff like that. But it also had like a, a super serious tone to it. Like it was super, super epic. And it seemed to have a little bit more dialogue than normal and stuff like that. So uh, it was kind of cool. It was something a little bit different. But it's just, it's good to have something solid to base our theories off of and kind of get an idea of what the campaign is going to be about. Because up until this point, we started off with like the random Snapchats from Dr. Selene that made absolutely no sense. Then we had the, uh, the, recently they've been doing the news updates about like Korean pop groups and hurricanes and all kinds of crazy stuff over in Singapore. And just like, it was all, just like random stuff that we were like what the heck is going on we can't tell what's going on and now we know a little bit more so one of the main themes of the campaign is going to be the dni the direct neural interface which is basically you know kind of like combining humans with robotics and we've you know heard about this stuff before where you have like robotic arms and stuff like that or they had that like kind of like timeline video where they're talking about how people were getting like these implants in their eyes to get perfect vision and stuff like that so you know obviously in the future with this future technology they're kind of you know coming up with these new weapons and these weapons aren't actual machine weapons they're people so they're kind of changing people they're changing their chemistry and the biology and everything and turning humans into machines and uh, you know obviously it kind of takes a turn for the worst like we saw this room right here where this guy says I don't think these people volunteered and it's a room full of people that they're trying to do DNI to, but they all died. Like they're all these skeletons in like the pods and stuff like that. And somebody says last reported operation at the station was John Taylor's team. So I believe John Taylor may be like the main enemy or, or, you know, some sort of enemy, some sort of guy that was like maybe good and turned bad or something like that. Because uh, then somebody said, I don't know how much the real Taylor has left. And then at the very end of the trailer, we kind of get to see him and he says, you still in there, John? Do you hear me? And John says, you don't understand. 
I'm taking us home. So, you know, obviously we can't deduct much information from that. But it seems like, you know, John Taylor, you know, maybe he was a good guy. He was fighting for the right cause. And then these, like, robots started taking him over or something like that. I'm not sure. You know, there are a million different possibilities here. But uh, there's something going down to where John started as a human. And then all of a sudden, like, the, the machines and the robots and stuff inside of him kind of started taking over. And I'm sure that's kind of a main theme throughout the, uh, throughout the story. And even the, the main character, he said during the, the thing, it like showed his like eye like glowing blue or something like that. And it was like, I can feel it taking over. Not even my mind is safe. So, you know, this technology is fantastic. It helps humans do things they wouldn't normally be able to do. This, it, you know, helps them become super soldiers on the battlefield. But uh, it comes to the price, and it looks like, you know, the, the kind of, like, artificial intelligence might start taking over people's minds. Now, uh, on top of that kind of, like, main theme, uh, there's the typical, you know, Call of Duty badassery, tanks, jets, helicopters, VTOLs, all kinds of stuff like that. There are also some weird things going on that were super quick in some of the, like, you know, super flashy epileptic screens. And I wanted to point these out to you guys. So there was a weird physics segment right here. You guys can see that this grenade goes off and this guy goes absolutely flying. Like that, a grenade wouldn't actually cause you to do that. So I'm not sure what happened there. It's like, you know, gravity was turned off or something like that. I have no clue. Uh, next up, there's also this scene here where there's like a, a growing tree. I'm not sure what that tree means, but then we also see another crazy forest scene leading to another tree. Like uh, this is obviously a very, very big thing as a part of the story. I have absolutely no clue what it is. We even saw a tree back in Dr. Sleem's Snapchat. So we'll have to wait and see what that means and what that place is and what's going on there. And then finally, there are a couple of crows throughout the uh, the trailer that kind of, you know, pop up just one frame, two frames, something like that super quick. But crows represent, you know, bad times, murder, stuff like that. So uh, it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's going to be kind of an intense campaign. It seems like there's going to be a lot going on. And uh, it seems like it's going to be pretty complex, to say the least. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know what you guys think about this campaign trailer. Are you guys excited for the campaign in Black Ops 3? Leave comments down below. I will catch you guys later. Check out these two screens. See you yet. Peace out.